You guys already know what it is. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Welcome. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? Yeah. I give less fucks now. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. Uh, yeah, I, I know. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you no level must limit now? forget. The contract. The one I signed you with Pharaohs, right? It. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions. No matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please do keep that in mind. Well then. I bid you farewell. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Fiori. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you... Heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. <sighs> huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear, this pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully he, really he's blowing your back out. Who knows? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Ooh. Chidori. But why? <laughs> Damn. So I guess he's not gonna be blowing her back out in two years. So I'm not trying to start beef or anything, but we got another transfer student here, and he already dressed like he's the main character, so what the F? <laughs> Is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kinda cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, that's allowed. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Pretty sure he's looking at me. He was living overseas for Sus a as hell. due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Alrighty. Uh-huh. 
Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Oh. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? Probably not. Pay close attention, all right? your first day after transferring. I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see. Right. Could you come along too? Why me? What I do? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. It's full I'm of paper. These packages on Got it. Of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. I already hate this guy. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition like grades up a little? fucking poser. Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? <laughs> Come on, don't give me that. Or is it really something you can't tell me? Well, I hope you can let me in on the secret someday. That's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Nah, that's lame as hell. No, oh, don't be like that. It would be such a wasted opportunity. Better not be trash. Well, why does his eyes look like uh, Pharaoh's eyes? <laughs> How was that? Any good? I thought if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Mm, thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. What? Just after so, this small ass uh, combo? What are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers? 
Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. You don't remember your own number? Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. This is weird, bro. No. No! <laughs> After giving Ryoji a tour of the school, I return to the dorm. There's something about him that lingers in my mind. All stats of the equipped persona have been raised by one. I wish I would have known that before. I would have put Orphis uh, as like the persona equipped. Hey, you know, the two of you would totally get along. He actually wanted to know more about Gakukan High, so naturally I had to share my wisdom with him. Anyway, he's a real cool dude to hang with. Much obliged. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei. Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Gakukan High, too. <laughs> if Yukatan hears about this, my ref's gonna go down the toilet. I just wanted to see if they got anything important to say. Doesn't look like it. Let's get on with there you are. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. And her dad died. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Takeba. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> ah, there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Not cock blocking though. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey. She left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ooh, damn. Ow. Field trip time. Let's go. 
But that said, I think kids nowadays get too many field trips compared to when we were growing up. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Thank goodness, she actually made it. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Ah, I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? You think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Go for it. Lie to her? <laughs> Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? <laughs> How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? Alright, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man... Man... Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Enjoyed the trip or return to your room. Hey there. So do we just talk to people we know? Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, which room am I in? Uh-huh. Up the stairs and turn right, you will be on the right side at the end of the hall. Kind of like, uh, at the dorm. Alright, well. Let's go up. You said that it's right. I'm broke as hell right now, right? Okay, cool. They don't have any SP items. I'm this late in the game kind of telling you guys that, uh... If you go to the vending machines... Uh, like every week they restock so that's a good way to get some SP items um, when you're inside these dungeon floors for Tartarus uh, very useful We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? 
It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? You lost your dad. Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. <laughs> that's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened. I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki. Yeah, he's dead, dead. right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My I mean, father all of this fell the into burden it. of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. <sighs> but it was all pointless. I never <laughs> should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Yes, yes, you are. Oh, oh, you didn't have to slap Sorry, the shit out of her. But we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. Oh. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. Calling her a hoe? So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. Alright, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, now, this is awkward. Hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. Oh, snap. Anthesilia has given rise to Artemisia. Massive almighty damage to one foe and decreases all of their st Yo, that is good as hell! Please. Especially on single target, Watch like, boss me. fight. An even better reason to keep her. I'm broke as hell, so there's, like, nothing I can even buy here. Come on in, anything? Let's see what they got. Oh, it's just healing stuff, so nothing we really care about. Go back. Oh, wait. Something's on the second floor. We got someone to talk to here? Oh, what hey up, there. dude? Yukari-san told me there's a riverbank nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out with me tomorrow? I guess. Thanks. I don't know. Oh, uh, wait. You know what? I forgot to... Oh, okay. I thought it was about to end the night first. 
So this dude, for some reason, at least as far as I'm noticing, anytime you hang out with him, he increases like all the stats of your persona by one. So I'm going to equip Orphis for now, just so that way uh, when we hang out with him, we get the plus one stats on everything for Orphis. seems to have cheered up she got slapped by yukari that's what happened wow i didn't know you could come all the way down here going on trips is great huh i've seen a lot of the sights here now and everything is so fascinating and there's so much i've never seen before my mind's having trouble keeping up i even bought myself a souvenir look it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. What? Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean... You can't escape it, but from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey. With all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say... It expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Yep, all stats up by one on that persona. I missed out on like two two stat up uh, bonuses. I received a message. Let's set up the hot spring. We're going. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, we just gotta go. Come find me when you're free. Everybody want to hang out though.
I mean, it's just not him. So, I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. That, uh... Yuka? Oh, oh, this trip went by in a blur. I don't really care much for... Let's hang out after... The show? Working on her social link. I think she had her like seven or eight, so... We about to be booed up in a bit. Hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey. Isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? It must be now that it's supposed to be all girls. You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour, but don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know, that it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh shit! Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? Oh, man. Fuck it up. Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here, too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, I don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Hey. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. I heard too scared to check, too. Can you use her persona? Oh, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Uh, I'm leading it. <laughs> Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Do I? So they're not going to hear the water movement, though, that we're doing? In the shadows? No, there's no one here. See? <laughs> you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! Mitsuru and Agus are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. 
Uh, what herring? And why is it red? He can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. Let's go. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Oh, hang on. We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Oh, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. Something like that. Well, he got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. No, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific. Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Uh, I don't know how. But we made it out, all thanks to you. No One problem, no problem. Step. And Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where did Junpei and Mochizuki go? Not my problem. They're probably still in there, huh? I'm trying to huh? see. Junpei kun and Ryoji kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh. Looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Last day? Yep. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Yeah, 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 we know. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. Were y'all were shitting bricks? You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. What's going on, guys? Oh, um, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Um, uh, what are you reflecting on? Your mama. Huh? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Mm. This secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Oh, welcome. Uh. Oh. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, we had that school trip there, so I think I'll end the episode off here, and then we'll pick back up uh, when there's like another event. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video; it helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.